Hello everyone! In this video, I'm gonna show you a very important tool which will help you as an ethical hacker to gather vulnerabilities and sometimes can get exploitations directly through this tool. That tool is called WhatsApp Zap or Zap Proxy. In this video, I'm gonna target this website. It's called BWAP. It is a vulnerable web application and it is hosted in hackhub.net and the subdomain BWAP. Alright, so in order to open the tool, it's already installed on Kali. Simply go in here and type zap in the search bar here. And then you press enter or just click on it. And make sure that your Kali is always upgraded and updated because all of the tools inside of Kali will be upgraded as well, including this tool. Alright, so now let's dig deeper and target this web application. Now as you see here, it's finished the scan here, it went through the spidering, spidering was gathering all the links included in that web application, okay, and it went through the active scan here, and went through all of these vulnerabilities, checking all the links that have been gathered by the spidering, and then I got only one alert which is in here, which is related to HT access information leak. I didn't get a lot of vulnerabilities here because you see here the strength is low and I said that strength is low from here. You go to analyze here and scan policy manager and then double click here and you see here all of them is, are low. You can change that from here high and you can change to insane here the threshold and strength and apply to all and then go go. Okay, and if you run the scan again, all of these will be in high and of course you can get more vulnerabilities about your target. And I just set it with low here just for the sake of the video duration, in order not to make it that too long. Anyway, I got one alert in here as you see, and I can go directly to here, see HD access information. And I see here the evidence here is the HTTP 1.1403, and the result here is that is revealing information which is the exact version of the Apache and the operating system on that server, which would help me as a hacker to gather the vulnerabilities related to this version and start exploiting it. So this is a very good important information for me to gather vulnerabilities related to it and then I will be able to exploit and compromise that server. Alright, so here clicking on the right arrow turn to be bottom arrow and then here right click and open your LM browser and then Firefox and you see here I got this is forbidden and the information already is leaked here okay see 247 and then go to Google try to look for vulnerabilities related to it try to find already made exploits if not then you need to create your own exploit you need to develop an exploitation tool for it and then try to exploit it then the server is already compromised by the way, this is a low level vulnerability, low rated vulnerability here. You can find SQL injection, you can find past traversal, remote code execution vulnerabilities by here. If you got alerts in front of it, like here for example, remote file inclusion here, you can find more alerts in here, then you got those vulnerabilities and then you can try exploit them. And you, sometimes you can exploit that vulnerability directly through this tool, just as I showed you. You go to the link, right click and open here your LN browser and then you can exploit that directly from there. That's all now about this tool. Please, if you have any question, leave a comment below and I will be happy to help you out. Push the like button, subscribe to my channel as I'm creating a lot more hacking videos that will help you as an ethical hacker to learn a lot more. As well as please check the video description below 
as I include highly practical courses to be an expert ethical hacker and all of these descriptions are being updated for each newly created course. And if you have any question, remember, leave a comment below and I will of course help you out. And thank you so much. See you next time. Bye-bye.